said what he said because it looked like at the same time black men don't like white women. Black men don't like uh, black women. And because see, what Don said was just words. But the fact that it appears that all our providers, especially the ones with money that can help us, are in another community helping um, the white man. And because he's over there and not in our community, all, our little, all my babies are unprotected. I'm unprotected. So what is the phenomenon since integration that black men have no shame in going, I mean, every, I mean even if they're black, they're not brown. So what, what's up with that? All right, thank you for the call, Teresa. Dr. Umar, you want to uh, yes. tip well, on that one? I would say I totally, I would say that I totally agree. Um, I think we have a big issue of black men going outside of their women to get others, and the more educated they are, the more likely they are to go outside. And I think that goes to post-traumatic slavery disease. The black man is interested in every other woman except his own, many black men, not all, okay, because he sees himself as inferior, and if he sees himself as inferior, he also sees his woman as inferior. And so for him, he feels the best thing he could do for his children is to give them a white mother. By doing so, you improve their gene pool, and you lighten up their skin, and you curl up their hair. So the black man marries the white woman because, one, he hates himself. Number two, he considers the white man to be superior. He considers the black woman to be inferior, and he doesn't want children that remind him anything of himself or Africa. It is born of self-hatred. And a lot of black men try to argue the opposite, that they just happen to fall in love with a white woman. Well, guess what? It goes back to your priorities and your principles. You cannot fall in love with someone you're not interested in dating. It is impossible to fall in love with someone you're not interested in. If you're not giving your time to a white woman, how do you fall in love with her? If you're not giving your time to white women, how do you end up marrying her? So without question, it was your priority that affected the situation first. The love may have come later, but I would even argue then that it's not the white, it's not the black man love for the white woman. It is his love for white people, for white culture, for white existence, for white racism, for white superiority. Your choice of a mate is a very serious statement about your political mindset. Who you marry is a political message to the world. And when a black man marries a white woman, he's making it known loud and clear that I love white people more than I love my own people. There is no way of getting around it, which is why, for me, I consider marriage outside of your race as one of the greatest acts of treason and treachery that a black man can commit. Because when we look at the statistics for marriage of black women, only one out of every four black women gets married in her life. That's very low. She has a very low rate of marriage. We can't afford to be losing any more men to white women. And these men need to understand that the white women that they're dating are only the white women that the other white men did not want. The black man is never the white woman's first choice. She's, he's never the white woman's first choice. He is the white woman's second choice when she's not able to get the white man that she wanted. Then she comes to look for us. Mm. I've been through it myself. You know, being a doctor of psychology, I've had white women come to me. I don't date outside my race, but I also understand why they come to me. It's because the white man who was a doctor of psychology did not want and so then her second plan, her plan B, is the black man. So they're basically being used by white women as an economic stimulus package. Okay. Let's take a call from Gina. Gina, thoughts, comments? Hi there. 